Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX Re Nine, just Nine, not a remastered. Still thinking about Final Fantasy VIII remastered. In the last episode, we make it, we made it to Lindblom, and we kind of just made it to the save room and just kind of ended it there. So uh, I think we have to go to talk to the regent. I think. Uh, oh, Dagger's still with us. So let's let's just get these save points and make our way there. Continue on the story, pretty much. Got this one over here. I think I remember something in here. Maybe that's later in the story. Alright. Let's go talk to Sid. Apparently he's a regent in this game, which I guess is like a king. Who knows? Alright, here we go. Lumblong Castle has three levels, all connected by this lift. From the base level, which lies below the mist, you can take a trolley to the harbor and back and the back gate. Ships hardly arrive at the harbor anymore, since travel by air has become so popular. The mist poses great danger, so we've sealed off everything. Just above the base level is the mid-level. You can ride the air cab from the mid-level to go to town. The upper level contains the royal chamber and conference room. Access to the level is restricted because the region himself resides there. Hey, Dagger, what's Regent Sid like? I lived in Lundblum for a while, but I've never met him. Regent Sid is very wise. He always thinks ahead. He may seem odd at times, but he is very dependable. He and my father were best friends. I wonder if he will even listen to what I have to say. Don't worry, we're not leaving until he does. We will arrive at the upper level shortly. Sire, Princess Garnet of Alexandria wishes to see you. Princess, is something wrong? The region isn't here, and I don't know who... Take a look at the throne. What in the world? Greetings. Uglop. Just got knocked out. Sire. What? What? Tiger, what's wrong? Why aren't you talking to? Jeez, that's an Uglop. Wow, even the Uglops are big in Limblum. What is the meaning of this? How dare you greet the princess like this? Get that repulsive bug off the throne immediately and call the regent. Please settle down, you are before the regent. What? Enough of your nonsense. Steiner, stand down. I remember that mustache. Is that really you, Uncle Sid? Yes, greetings all. I am Sid Fabul, regent of Limblum. I knew it was you, I recognized the pendant's description. It's so much like my falcon claw. I'm delighted to see you again, Garnet. You truly a... Guac became a fine lady. I, on the other hand. Allow me to explain. About six months ago, someone snuck into the castle and attacked the region in his sleep. Unfortunately, we were too late. The regent had been transformed into an Oglop, and his wife, Lady Hilda, was abducted. My goodness. 
Whoever pulled this off had to be highly skilled, like me. Hmm. I bet it was you. That's not possible. How can you be so sure? Do you know who we are? Of course, I may be a bug, but I am still the ruler of Lemblum. Uncle Sid, I appreciate you seeing me on such short notice. I desperately need to speak to you about my mother. That's what I figured. But I'm sure I can wait till tomorrow. Why don't you all get some rest for today? Thank you. It is time for lunch. Please follow me. I can't stand the food at the castle. It's way too high class for my taste. How can anyone get full on that stuff? The cheap food here is a lot better. Today's special is Soup to Silence. Not bad. Interesting name for a soup. You just burn your tongue. You just can't talk anymore. Yo, Pops, I'll have the stupid special. Who said that? Zidane, I figured it was you. How you been? All right, I guess. Have a seat. Your soup will be ready in a minute. Do you mind? You're standing in everyone's way. Wow. Hey. Yeah? Do you want a drink? How about you and me go for a cruise on an airship? Really? An airship? Sounds like you've never been on one. You know, Limblum is quite a sight from high above. Hey, monkey tail, you're disturbing the other customers. What the? You've got a tail too, rat face. Rat face. After I finish my drink, I'm going to kick your butt. Hey, Zidane, take it outside. Long time, Zidane. Hey, what's up? Wait a minute. You forgot my name? No, I remember. You're Helga, right? Wrong. Christine? No. Oh, yeah. You used to live next door to me. How's it going, Rachel? Man, you've really gotten big. You nasty little... Come on, I'm just kidding. You know I'll never forget a pretty girl's name. Freya. So, how you been, Freya? Same old Zidane. How long has it been? About three years. Did you ever find out anything about your boyfriend? Nope. So, what brings you to Limblum? The Festival of the Hunt. What else? It's a good opportunity to test my skills. Oh. Well, I'm sure you'll find him someday. Aren't you participating? Nah, I think I'll pass. A lazy bum. Are you ever going to go back? I have no reason to return to Brumisio. There's nothing there for me anymore. So how's the queen? Is she still as vibrant and ever as ever? Yes, but since father died, mother has been acting very strangely. I'm not surprised. They loved each other so much. We haven't spoken much lately. Also, a suspicious man has been prowling around the castle. I don't know what's going on anymore. I fear that she might be planning something terrible. I've brought this matter to everyone's attention, but no one, ta no one has taken me seriously. They all think I'm distraught over losing father. I understand why you are so eager. I'm happy you came for me for help came to me for help. At this point, I think you're the only, per the only person Mother will listen to. When I heard that Lemblum's theater ship was coming to Alexandria, 
I decided to sneak on board and come here no matter what. I just never expected the crew to kidnap me. It was me. I was the one who ordered Tantalus to kidnap you. Boom. Now we know who's, who uh, commissioned the, the kidnapping. I once promised your father that should anything happen, I would protect you. We've known about the disturbances in Alexandria for some time. But had we acted directly, it would have started a war. So I asked Baku for help. He and, he and I go way back. The play was the perfect cover to enter Alexandria and get you out. But uh, no one would suspect Limblom was behind it. We were forced to take action because we knew Alexandria would never seek our help. I'm relieved we were able to get you here. At the village of Dali, we saw numerous black mages. They looked like golems, controlled by some powerful magic. On top of that, they were being created under Alexandria's supervision. I don't know how they relate to Vivi, but if my mother is planning to use them for war, we won't let that happen. Even if she were to commit an army of black mages, she won't make a move as long as we have our airship fleet. Don't worry, everything will be fine. I'm so sorry, Uncle. Now, now, come on, don't be so formal. I'm helping you because I am your Uncle Sid, not because I am the Regent of Lemblum. Thank you so much. What is this place? The heart and soul of Limblum, our airship dock. This is dock number one, where we conduct our research. But where are the airships? Lonely, isn't it? We had a new airship model in here about six months ago. It was our latest creation. It didn't require mist to fly. The man who attacked you, was he the one who ran off with it? could guess, but no. Actually, I met, the, I met a lovely lady at the pub. Um, when Hilda found out about my little affair, she used her magic and turned me into an Oglop. Then she stormed off in the new airship, which I named Hilda Grun. Pretty ironic, huh? She hasn't been back since. I've been working on Hilda Grun too, but it hasn't been going too well. My mind just isn't the same as an Oglop. I mean, wouldn't you have the plans for the first one? It's not like you're doing all the work yourself. I'm hopeless. But that doesn't mean I can't help you. I'll do my best for Alexandria. Thank you. But with Selgate badly damaged, I don't know how we can get to Alexandria. Don't worry, Southgate is being repaired as we speak. Once the repairs are finished, we'll go to Alexandria. Yes, I'm sure Mother will finally open her eyes to the truth. Uncle, is something wrong? Huh? No, I was just thinking about how the theater ship crashed. Baku sure has good men working under him. Good morning. You're up early. Lum Plum is really a busy place. I've never seen this many people before. I wonder where people go if they want to be alone. Lum Plum has always been like this. People come here from all over the world. Some of them come here to become airship engineers, sculptors, and actors. Wow. I don't even remember why I came here my first time. Before I knew it, I was living here with my Tantalus brothers. Do they still live here? Yeah, our hideout is in the theater district. I'm gonna go there right now. Do you wanna come along? Um, that's okay. I'm gonna look I'm gonna go look around town. Okay then, I'll give you a little tour. No, that's okay. I can go by myself. 
Oh, okay. Go find yourself a cute girl, all right? Teach me, Mogster, my first synthesis lesson. Hey, bro, what are you going to teach me today? Lots of neat stuff. Today I'm going to talk about the synthetic shop, or synthesis shop. Let's... Let's do it for the... Since it's new to this game. In addition to regular shops where you can buy and sell items, there are synthesis shops where you can synthesize items to create new items. All you need is two items to serve as the base and a few gill to cover the labor. The items you need and the amount of money you pay for uh, vary for each synthesized item. Here are some examples. The ogre, which we're going to do if we can. Desert boots. If you haven't been to the synthesis shop yet, go check out the one in Limblum. I oh, was speaking of synthesis, I'll tell you a big secret. Long ago I heard rumors that there's a, a legendary synthesis who can create the best items. But I don't know where he lives or what he looks like. That was a quick thing. Alright. Gosh, bro, you sure know a lot. Yeah, I know. Alright. Oh, we got the Mr. Moogle here. Moodon. Can never save it enough in this game, considering uh, we have no quick saves. Although we haven't had quick saves in seven or eight, so we've gotten used to it by now. It's not like uh, pixel remasters. Although we haven't, we have died a couple times during some boss fights, but usually there's save points nearby, so we haven't we haven't wasted too much time. Unfortunately. What's this? Bobo bird statue. Bobo bird statues are symbols of good fortune according to Uguan myth. The founder of this inn bought the statue and has been passed down for generations. Nope. Let's get out of here. Small town night in a big city. I mean, Alexandria seems like a big place. What a huge town, I'm completely lost. Pardon me. Jeez, you're dressed awfully funny. I'm Captain Al Albert Steiner of Alexandria, I, and I humbly request your assistance to get back to the castle. Ha, that's a new one. Nice try, but I don't date bums. You should really scrape that rust off. It's disgusting. What? Oh, rejected. Huh? Do you always strike out that badly? I think you need a new line. A little shine wouldn't hurt either. What are these things? They're called glacial pickles. They're one of Lim Blum's delicacies. Do you want to try one? It smells terrible. The worse they smell, the better they taste. I don't think that's ever been true in my life. I guess I'll try one. Oh my, even the locals don't eat them in one bite. That's something you tell people beforehand. It's like handing someone a ghost pepper. Phew, but you're right, they are good. Alright then, now. Let's see, air cabs are amazing. Back in the old days, we had to walk all the way to the theater district. I don't think I could ever walk that far anymore, I'd probably croak if I did. Let's see... Vivi's shopping. Wow, this nut smells really good. I think I'll buy one. I 
This place has a lot of unusual things. Is this food? It looks good. Looks like the sesame buns that Grandpa used to make. Alice's item shop, Festival of the Hunt. Sale ends today. Wow, there's gonna be a festival. Hi, I wanna buy this. Oh, are you friends with the Moogles? Huh? That item is called a coupon nut. Coupon nuts are Moogles' favorite food. No, I didn't know that. I think that's the last one. Go ahead, honey, it's on me. Really? Thank you. Um, what is this festival of the hunt like? Well, we let a bunch of animals loose and... Well, there's gonna be a lot of animals. Sounds like fun, thank you. What's so funny about fighting savage bees? Wait a minute, did I say animals again? Oops. Now you gotta let people finish their thought, Phoebe. Alright, let's see. Let's go this way. What's this direction? You know, I don't remember this place completely. Oh. Definitely do not want to leave. We want to check the item shops and the synth shop. I just gotta find it some. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Can't go in there. Maybe it's in this direction. Okay, this door is uh, openable. The card game is deep. Oh, I forgot to look up, see if you get any good prizes from playing that game. Although, if I, I guess if I didn't really spend too much time playing Triple Triad, I don't see why I'd play this one, considering I like Triple Triad way more. All right, I think the shops are in this direction. I think this is it. Would you like to buy a flower pot? You can use it as cookware too. I'm carrying a lot of nice pots right now. Okay, here's the weapon shop. Rio on board. Let's go to another store. Come on. In a minute. Jeez. If you want to come out on top in the festival, you would. You should definitely buy some weapons here. Now I think we have... I think two of these we can make the ogre. Kind of like I said in the instructions. But let's... Let's see if we can synthesize anything better. And there's a steeple hat there. We might need to buy that steeple hat. Oh, nope, this is the, the nut shop, apparently. I think you're going to need some medicine if you're going to participate in the festival. Yeah, let's buy three of those. A couple of those. Okay. Hey, look, it's the, the, the queen over here. One of these places is Synth Shop, not this one. Where is the Synth Shop? I could have sworn it was in this area. Oh, here it is. I think. The fire is too strong. How many times do I have to tell you? A few degrees can make the difference between a good weapon and a bad one. Use a lower flame. Stop nagging. We have a customer. When is he going to get it through his head? That's not something you want to hear when you're going into a shop. How's it going? Do you want me to make you something for the festival? Okay, so here's the scent shop. Alright, so the ogre is... 
the one we out we want to make okay we also want to do these I bought a whole bunch of these because uh, uh, somebody told me we can sell them for a good profit bought a whole bunch of wrists and now we just need some steeple hats so it looks like I need a thousand gill just to uh, just to synthesize that so I hope it's worth it because I think the rest were like 140 and uh, the steeple hat is 260 so that's what 400 so 1400 just to buy everything and uh, synthesize it so let's just buy one since we don't have enough money now we can't do can we sell anything We just bought that. We can sell this. I don't know if we can sell enough stuff to make it. Okay, a Phoenix Pinion. We could sell those. Let's just sell one of those. That should be good enough. So let's see how much we can sell this once we synthesize it. Hopefully, it's enough to get us going. Okay, so we have... Can we sell stuff here? Nope. Alright, so we spent about 1400 on that synth. Items included. How much can we sell it for? Okay, that's up. 600 profit, not bad. We confirm that. We got 2400. So let's buy a couple of these. So we need to we could spend about 1400. Alright. That's five. We're gonna do this a couple times. It'll it won't be as bad as once we start getting some money it'll it'll move by faster. But we need to do it about 45 times. Oh, I forgot. We can only do one at a time. We gotta pay for the cent. Okay, then. Maybe I should have bought less of, of uh, those. Alright, sell this. Now we should be able to do it twice, at least. Alright. And then we go back. I kinda wish we could sell in the same place, but... This is how it's gonna have to be for a little bit. But it'll be good for us, we can get some money. Yeah, we got 41, and how many, three steeple hats. So let's, uh, let's keep doing it. I wonder how much money we're going to uh, end up walking out of here with. I'd say a good amount of money. I wonder if these are good items actually. Maybe we need maybe we can equip some. Well, no one we have can equip it. Maybe I'll keep a couple around. Alright, so we're at seven thousand. How many wrists do we have? Like 38, I suppose. Now let's just do this. 10.
We should be able to make at least four. Oh, it's just right there. The two people are good. Um, it's an improvement. Shout out to a, uh, you know, um, a Twitch viewer for uh, letting me in on this. Because, uh, oops, not that. Because you cannot, you cannot buy wrist in Limblum, from what I can see. So we had to buy him in another town. about 8,000. Now we could do the rest. Although I think we only have six, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is getting faster by the minute. I can't believe how expensive it is. Man, if it was only a little cheaper to make that cotton, um, to make these robes. So we got 28. How much can we get? Can we get 28? Of these? Okay, we can get 28. So let's do that. And now we can just uh, synth and come back. That should be good enough. Should probably only take a couple more, a couple more rounds with this. take another two more two two more rounds of this and we're we're good desert boots wonder why these are question marks does that mean they can't use it I wonder if there's any money to be made with uh, the ogre. All right, let's see here. So mage magic is probably not because you can you can buy it and sell it right there. So they're about five hundred each. That's a thousand. Seventeen hundred, then. We actually need to unequip it, probably. Can we even do that? We cannot. Oh, that sucks. We can't unequip it. That means we need to buy another one. That's kind of lame. I guess he just has to have a weapon equipped. Wait, was that it? Did we finish, uh... We have no more wrists. I think that was it. So we are done with um, making money with the, the, the cotton robes. So let's see. So we can do the ogre. So we made about uh, 
achieve, achievement unlocked coming together. I guess that's merging two weapons together. So let's see how much we can sell it for. Eight fifty. That would be a loss of almost a thousand gil. Yeah, I wasn't. I'm not. That's not surprising, considering that you can buy all the stuff and synthesize it right there. The only reason we made any profit with uh, the wrists and the steeple hats is because you can't buy the wrists here. You would need to plan ahead. At least at, at this point in the game. Oh, it looks like uh, you know, if you guys are watching this on YouTube later on in episode format, this is probably a good place to end it. Uh, if you're watching live, I'm going to just end the episode here and then start up a new episode. But thanks for watching and have a good day.